welcome to what is the finale here. Um, I'm going to do three activations tonight. We're going to kind of um, just get right, get right in a, on, on with it. I'm actually going to put on some music, so I'm not going to be able to see comments um, right now. And that's okay. I was really interested in this wonderful 963 frequency of the gods manifest anything you want meditation music so we're gonna put that there and we'll see you know we'll see how it goes like i said i'm just super excited to be catching on I, i've been so inspired today i'm kind of getting over a cough and a, a little i don't know weird cold that didn't really affect me thank you other than a cough which was weird i have my tea I have my iPad with the codes, um, and I'm super, I'm, I'm just excited for these three. You know, it, the, the, the code sort of changed and evolved as we went on. In fact, one snuck in today that was not planned on for this series, this series of 12. So here, it's here. The first one, though, let's start, let's start looking at this first one. This one was planned on. This one was planned on. I was actually going to go live on the 23rd. This is... This is also known as the December 23rd Code of Awe, <laughs> the Dream Manifestation Code of Awe. It can be used any time of year. It's just most especially imbibed with that energy of December of, of really, we start to look forward, I think, you know, to January and to 20. I mean, already I'm hearing it all of December on, on Facebook. What's your word for 2020? What's your energy? What are you going to do? What's your, what kind of, what explosion is your business going to have? Um, so it's already happening. And that makes sense to me now that I'm studying the codes of awe, why this one would be kind of in tune with the frequency that is December. It's closing things off. It's celebrating the winter solstice. It's looking inward to really slow down and take maybe take stock a little bit on what our dreams are, what, where we've come from and where we want to go. So go ahead and start focusing on this code. I'm going to do a little less talking this time. Mm, a little more activating with you. It's this just past the new moon. We'll call it the newly waxing moon here. And it's important to know that the different stages in the moon can affect your dream manifestation and the things that you're wanting to release in order to manifest those dreams. And you can use them. You can use every stage of the moon for manifesting. Some things are releasing, the, sometimes are for releasing the things that don't serve you and other times are for planting the seeds and watering them with the positive thoughts and intentions that you want to grow. So whatever you wish, whatever inspires you, whatever you can imagine for yourself. That's what this code can bring to you. It inspires holy thoughts, benevolent words and successful actions, this code. It supports attracting the highest frequency beings and associates, whether they're here as other humans, like you and me, or whether they are in other astral planes as guides, teachers, as your loved ones. Let's go ahead and take a moment. Focus our eyes on this code. If you haven't been already, really start to look through your third eye at this code with your eyes open. See it start to move before your eyes. See different parts of the code start to become activated. And it might be different each time you look at it. Maybe it will be different if you look at this code in the spring. You should give it a try. Maybe it's different in the summer. This code can be used any time of year. Anytime you want to offer yourself that support for your highest level of dream manifestation. So go ahead and close your eyes and sort of inhale this through your third eye, through right here. And then send it all the way through your chakra system in an exhale to the center of the earth. And then immediately draw it back up because we're going to send it up 
all the way up and then exhale it through to your higher self, to your over soul. And then one last time, inhale it from that higher place back down into your being. Seal it right there in your third eye. Kind of look with your eyes closed, look into that space of your third eye now. Mm, this coat is resting there. It is commanded in the name of divine love and the power of positive alignment and manifestation, the laws of attraction to bring you that which your heart desires. Anything you can imagine and more. This code is here to help you see what it is that you can do to put those, put those dreams into, into reality. From planning to reality. Go ahead and open your eyes again and look at that code one more time. And these codes kind of go together. Um, so we're going to have a little fun with them and kind of activate them almost back to back here. I'm gonna go on to the next one. We'll do a new share. We'll just go straight into the next one. <coughs> All right, excuse me while well, I got a drink. Now, if you, if you had your eyes closed, open your eyes. If you had your eyes open, that's fine. That's where we were at. I've used this code in a private activation in a group before. Before I was a certified codologist when I was just excited to share these codes. And now I've gone on to certify in this modality so that I can offer private activations. I can use them as part of my healing practice. And I think a lot of it had to do with using this code last January. I think it was for a full moon or, yes, it was a full moon ritual. Um, this is the Cosmic Egg Frequency Code of Awe. And if you go ahead and go to Ancient Aliens, there's, there's uh, some season, I don't know, but it's got an episode about the, the Cosmic Egg. You go check it out. It's amazing. It's gonna the things like spiral in my life. I've been watching Ancient Aliens for a long time, many years, and all of a sudden I'm starting to hear Akashic records, Edgar Casey, different uh, you know Egyptian gods and goddesses that I'm working with or studying, and I have an Ankh, and you know there's there's Petra or pictures of Ankhs and inscribed in in all sorts of you know stone all over the place so so also the cosmic egg is inscribed in, in many different cosmologies i actually just watched the episode again last night so go ahead and start looking at this one this one's an amazing code i'm going to read you a little bit about what yvonne writes about this code when she was designing it a little bit of story time here it says this is in her voice when i was creating this code this is yvonne delafort writing this. I kept receiving images of sparkling rain, sparkling silver rain falling from the cosmos, creating a flower with brilliant white light, sparkling with silver. This code has, all, has encoded in it 108 affirmations that assist us all to manifest new beginnings and give birth to ideas and turn dreams into goals and take the necessary steps to accomplish them. This code is a gift to all of us today. It's a gift. Any day you would like to pull it out and use it, but most especially during new moons, times of new beginnings for you. This code will help reduce any judgments that you may have on taking your dreams to the next level, really stepping into your own creative powerhouse. I heard a quote today, God's gift to us was the power to create. Our gift to God is doing as much as we can with that power of creation in each lifetime. 
So this, this is the exchange of that gift and the activation of you stepping into your power. So let this code begin to sparkle silver rain all around you. As you close your eyes, you're actually gonna bring it up over your crown chakra and inhale it in through all of your chakras, all the way down, send it down to the earth, down about a foot below you in the earth, not as deeply as the other one. Because I really wanted to spend some time anchoring the chakras that are connected to you and also Mother Earth here, your Earth Star Chakra. Go ahead and bring it back up into your root chakra for a moment. We're going to let this cosmic egg sit down here, kind of like we're getting ready to hatch something ourselves. But this is helping you, if you have judgments from anybody in your community, anybody in your network, anybody in your family, about you doing these things that you know in your, in your heart that is your soul's calling, taking action on your dreams. This is to help with those situations and offer you support in your root chakra. Bring it up into your sacral chakra. This, this here, we're asking the cosmic egg to spend time in our own womb space and our hara space if you're a man. And if you don't have a womb, and you're a woman, we have the Hara space. It is there. So let it be there. Let it activate the creative powers that God gave you. Go ahead and bring it up into your solar plexus now. Bring this cosmic egg code of awe into your solar plexus, enabling you to stop judging yourself to stop rationalizing why you shouldn't go after those, those deepest desires, those soul urgings. For you to be gentle with yourself, with the process. This gets it's right close into the heart space as well. So let's bring it up into that, that full area of our core. This is where our soul, solar plexus, our heart, uh, lower heart, higher heart, we have all these, these tiny chakras. Just bring it into that space and offer it the love, the unconditional love and support that you, you do have for you. Even though we try to sabotage it or use other people as our saboteurs. Breathe into that space right now. Now bring it up into your throat chakra. So you can speak into truth and manifest what you desire without holding back. Moving on up to your third eye. Breathe in. To help you see with clarity, clarity, the things that are no longer serving you and also see with clarity the areas in which will serve you. Sometimes we're in denial and we don't want to acknowledge these things, both things that are no longer serving us as well as the things that would serve us. This is to help us see that clearly and go towards that, to manifest our deepest desires, our highest intentions and our greatest wish for ourselves. Now take this finally up to your crown chakra and open it up, let that cosmic egg, it's almost like it's raining around you and sparkling the silver rain. Allow yourself to be fully connected to your higher self. Spend time in meditation, just letting this cosmic egg coat of awe rest on your crown chakra. Go ahead and open your eyes if you'd like to see it again. Sometimes I do that while I'm doing these. I reactivate them with my eyes and I close my eyes and, and we'll do this together on this one. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let this one start doing its magic here before our eyes one more time. And then close your eyes and breathe it just to rest on top of your crown. I 
I ask that this cosmic egg frequency code of awe be activated in all of us that are watching. Anyone who uses this code, may it serve them in this incarnation and future incarnations as we activate our DNA at a cellular level. Go ahead and I'm gonna share the final code with you. And you can open your eyes. <coughs> this is one that I wanted to do. I think I wanted to do this one originally on Solstice. I thought it would be a great Solstice one. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember which ones I did on solstice, if I even made it live for solstice, who knows. Again, these, these, this series can be done any time of year. It just so happens to be it was done in December. And don't we all, I, you know, we all want this world of peace. This code serves those who need to take a step into their, their leadership. Whether you're an active leader or not, this code will start to activate in you the traits that make people drawn to certain individuals as leaders. <coughs> Peace is the essential drive of all souls and the ultimate manifestation of a mind aimed towards self-realization. Peace is an essential frequency that is necessary to accomplish one's own life mission and to discover whom one truly is beyond identities, belief systems, past imprints, and projections of others. To recognize who we are is the first encounter with the force that Buddha, Gandhi, and Jesus used to invoke and teach others to radiate in order to create a harmonious world, the force of inner peace. So with the energy of those great leaders, Buddha, Jesus, Gandhi, so many more. And yourself, you're on that list. This code is so gentle and yet such a strong color combination. Mm. This code asks you to Bring peace to all areas of your life, to connect mind, body, and soul in an expression of peace, stillness, bliss. I'm gonna do this code activation just a little bit differently even than the others. We're still gonna draw it in through our third eye, but then we're gonna send it right to our heart space. And we're gonna activate it there with taking five breaths, counting in, holding, and then releasing. All for the count of five, five times. So go ahead and breathe this code into your third eye. Close your eyes, breathe it in, send it down to your heart chakra. Go ahead and inhale with me for the count of five. Hold for five. Release. Go ahead and inhale again. Hold. Release. Breathing in. Peace, breathing out, peace. Go ahead and breathe in again. And breathe out. 
Each time you're holding your breath, you're activating your breath with this code inside your heart space. Breathe in again. And release. One last time. Inhale. Activate. And release. Open your eyes again. And then let's fully activate this code within each of your chakras as well. This time we're gonna breathe it in through our crown chakra so it can pass all the way through and then meet back up at the crown and stay there. So go ahead and close your eyes and breathe it in through your crown chakra and send it all the way down through your, past your third eye, past your throat, into your heart space, send your solar plexus down through your sacral and root chakra, past the floor, into the earth. And then this code starts to radiate around you and moves up through the earth and then passing up through your chakra system again and around all of your auric space. So you radiate nothing but peace, harmony, the traits of the leaders of Jesus, of Buddha, Gandhi, Abraham, of the great teachers of Isis, of Thoth, of Osiris, the great gods, the great goddesses. We have Kuan Yin, Green Tara, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, White Calf Buffalo Woman, so many more, all standing with us in our mission to provide peace. Go ahead and open your eyes. <clears throat> oh, this is a lovely series of activations. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Mm. May we all go out and build a world of peace. May we all go out and with the highest intentions manifest our dreams to support ourselves and to support our service. And I wish you all of those things and more. Blessings.